Hello and welcome to another tutorial by the Blender Animations. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make this barrel texture along with this, me um, this metal texture as the ground. So open up Blender and then delete the default cube with delete and then select OK. Now press space, add, mesh, cylinder and then OK. Now you want to be looking at it from front view so press 1 now you just want to scale it up a little bit and then press tab and press A to deselect all B to use box select and then select the bottom row and then grab the arrow um, to move it onto the Z axis so make it a little bit bigger there we go so that's um, the size of the barrel now you want to go into e back into edit mode and in the original you can see that each barrel has three um, ruts in it so that means that we're going to do three ring cuts so press ctrl r and then scroll your mouse forward twice that'll give you those three ring cuts there now you want to do a ring cut either side of that um, just to contain um, where you're scaling it out because um, when you scale that out it only moves within those two um, ring cuts that are around it whereas if you were to scale this out it would move the whole barrel so you just want to put those other two ring cuts on either side of each um, of your three originals now hold down alt and right mouse click on um, each of the three original ring cuts and then scale them out. Now, Alt click allows you to select a whole row and you can do that um, in any object. So just select the next one, scale that out, select the next one, scale that out as well. I'm going to add a modifier, I'm going to add a subsurface now before we do anything else we're going to select the top layer and press E to extrude region then right mouse click and we want to scale it in a little bit and extrude that down just to make this lip around the top of it and we're just going to put a ring cut down to the bottom and just take ring cuts up to each um, area where you have um, your three main ruts just to smooth them out now that's what your barrel looks like at the moment so we're going to go set smooth and you can see that they look a little bit big so you can just alt click to select them and then just scale them in a little bit Now if you want them to be sharper, then you can move the ring cuts that are around them closer towards them. That will make them be sharper. Okay, so that's your basic barrel there. Um, now most um, 44 gallon drums that are around, they have um, the hole in the top where you actually um, let everything out. So we're going to add another cylinder. And I'm going to scale that down to about the size that that hole would be. Press Z to go to wireframe mode just so that you can see through everything. I'm going to go tab and then to edit mode into the smaller cylinder. And then I'm going to do the same thing how we added the lip into this. We're going to extrude and then scale that and extrude down. And 
that'll give us that. And we're gonna add a subsurface and set smooth onto this um, outflow here. And there you go. Just gonna add a ring cut in there. Okay. Now we're going to add the texture that you can see here. It's rusted metal texture. Now select the whole barrel and add a new material. Then go into this textures panel and go add new. Now we'll add a new texture. You're going to go to texture type and go image. And this will allow you to add an image that will lay over this object. So we're going to go load. We're going to go to the desktop and get my texture. Which is a rusted metal texture. And select image. And then you can see that's the image there that we're going to apply to this. So if you go back to the sphere, you have your textures area over here. So we're going to go map input. We're going to put it to tube and map to just null. Okay. Now if we render of this, you can see that it's applying it to there. Now we just need to adjust the lighting. I'm going to turn ray shadow off, just move it so that it's behind the camera. I'm going to turn title safe off on the camera. We just have another look at that, and that's exactly what we want. Now, we're going to grab both of these objects and hold shift D to duplicate them. It's going to move it back so we're going to make it like a curved wall out of them. And shift D again to move them. Make four and we'll make the next layer up. And just sit them in the middle. And we'll just move the camera back a bit so that it can see the whole wall. If we just render that, you can see all your barrels. Now we need to add a background. And, um, left click to put your 3D cursor there and space, add mesh plane. We'll look at it from the top view. I'm going to scale this out about there so that it's in like the whole thing is in the camera's view which is good just gonna move it back a little bit okay now I'm gonna add another plane over here so space add mesh plane for this one I want to be going up and down rather than side to side so we're gonna rotate on the x-axis 90 degrees And then we'll scale this one up again. Just till it's about the same size as the other one. Just there. We'll just move it so only the corners touch. And we're going to press tab. We're going to extrude off the other side. So extrude only edges on the Y axis. And that'll give us this whole wall here. Now you need to make sure that you won't be able to see through this um, gap here in the wall. So we're just going to scale this bottom one out a little bit more. Okay, and we're also going to add a texture to this um, bottom layer here. So, the same as before, add new texture, image, load, and back to the desktop. We have metal. Select image. Now it's loading that image over the whole plane. 
So when you look at it, it's just going to be that one image is going to be huge. Um, so what you do is you go to X repeat and Y repeat. We just put them up. We'll put them up to 15. We'll just render that to see if the size is right. See, so yeah, that size is right. We'll just finally just um, fix up this lighting a bit. We're going to add lamp and do a spot. We'll rotate that so that it's going to be facing the barrels and make it a little bit higher than them and then I'm going to extend the distance to 45 and that should be good Yep. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll be putting the details into the description. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment or message me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And just one last thing before we go. If you want to get rid of um, what's happening there on the top, you can change your um, texture input. Um, so map input rather than to tube, you can put it to cube. And that should fix that problem. Cube. And then just do that to all of them. That should fix the problem. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye.